At the moment, uh, it is still low. Uh, the government has started a program to promote uh, renewable energy. Uh, but by definition, if you include uh, the hydros, which we have uh, uh, quite a bit in the country as well, it comes up to more than uh, 10%. But if you look at uh, the conventional type of uh, definition for renewables, then we are still low at 1% to 2%. What I mean is that if you look at the thermal PV or the wind and biomass, biogas, these are still small in terms of percentage of energy mix. But if you include the hydros, which are uh, still available in the country, uh, we're probably past the 10% mark. Uh, of course, the government is quite interested to push it up further to, let's say, a target of 20% by the year 2030. But it'll take a bit more effort, initiative, drive uh, to get this going. Okay, the government has enacted uh, what we call the Renewable Energy Act. Now, this now... Um, so establishes a, uh, an agency called the SEDA, which is the Sustainable Energy Development Authority. Uh, they are the ones who would try to promote the use of various technologies of RE, and for that, uh, they are provided, uh, they can allow for a collection of about 1.6% of the tariff on individuals who consume above a certain level. Typically today, it's 300 kilowatt hours per month. Now, this 1.6% collected will try to subsidize uh, the new uh, proposals on tariff, on, on, on RE. And this is what we call the fit-in tariff arrangement or scheme, which has been in, in use for the last two years almost. And we have um, got quite a number of, uh, of consumers who are now uh, fitting up uh, solar PV and, and wind and biomass and biogas uh, into the system. Uh, it will be gradually stepping up, but I think it will be also uh, in tandem with the amount that they can collect on the, the feed-in tariff mechanism.